hey guys, here are quick five questions for AQA Chemistry Chemical Analysis. Um, if you want to get these questions so we can fill them in together as we are going along, you can pop by to my website, my free revision guide. A mixture is a number of different elements and compounds that may or may not be chemically bonded together. Formulation is preparing something. Melting point is the exact temperature something melts. Melting point can be used to determine if the compound is pure or not because it should all melt exactly at one temperature. If it melts at a different temperature or over a range of temperatures, it's not pure. How can chromatography be used to determine if a compound is pure or not? Chromatography will separate out everything in the compound and if it's pure, um, it should all be in one spot. You calculate RF values by calculating how far a spot has moved. The test for hydrogen is a squeaky pop. The test for oxygen is relighting a glowing splint. The test for carbon dioxide is that it turns lime water cloudy. And the test for chlorine gas is that it bleaches damp litmus paper. When put in a flame, lithium will go red. Sodium will go kind of like a brick red orange. Potassium is lilac, calcium is a yellow red, copper, blue green. When you react aluminium with sodium hydroxide, you are going to get a white precipitate. Which, if you keep adding more, will then dissolve. Calcium will form a white precipitate. Magnesium will also form a white precipitate. Copper will form a blue precipitate. Iron 2 is going to form a blue, green, grey precipitate. Whereas iron 3 is going to form a red brown precipitate. Um, at test of carbonate ions that's going to release carbon dioxide with mixed with acid.
If you're testing for halide ions, you need to add silver nitrates. And then look at what colour it goes. Um, a chloride will go white. If you have a bromide, the precipitate you're going to get is cream. If you have an iodide, you are going to get a yellow precipitate. The test for sulphate ions is by adding barium chloride and if they're present you are going to get a white precipitate.